cylinder. So, so far we have a couple of shapes that we can use, hopefully fairly comfortably. We've got a box, um, we've got a sphere, and today we're going to have cylinders and tubes, okay? So, um, to draw a cylinder, I want to start with a foreshortened circle. All right, so let's talk about what a foreshortened circle is, shall we? I've got a circle like this. I'm looking straight at it, it looks like a circle, right? But if I turn it so that it's facing up or down and not straight at me anymore, you can see it looks like it starts to squish. So that's a foreshortened circle. If I'm looking straight on at a cylinder, I'm not going to see the top or the bottom. If I'm looking at it from slightly above the top, I'll be able to see the top. I'm looking at it from below the bottom, I'll be able to see the bottom. With a normal cylinder, I will not be able to see the top and the bottom at the same time. Okay. So here's my foreshortened circle. I'm going to take that straight down. So this could be a lot of things. This could be a tower, this could be a pipe, this could be an arm or a leg, it could be part of a body. Um, by adapting this simple shape. So for the bottom, I've also got a foreshortened circle, but I'm not going to be able to see the back of, edge of that, right? So we're assuming for this drawing that my eyes are above the level of the top of this thing here. So I won't be able to see the bottom. Okay. If I was below it, I'd be able to see the bottom, but not the top. Okay. And if I'm looking at it straight on, if my eye level is between the bottom and the top, I won't be able to see either. So I might be able to see one, either the top or the bottom. I might be able to see neither of them, uh, but I won't be able to see both. All right. So let's add some shading in. Can I have the light coming from over my left shoulder today to switch things up? All right, so my highlight's going to be like right here ish. So I'm going to start here and here. I'm going to put a little bit of tone over to the left hand side here, just a little bit. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to kind of Start light and transition. I'm going to apply sort of a cross contour stroke here to create a little bit more roundness to it. Just gonna put a little bit of tone here. top, it looks like the light's pretty high, so I think the top's going to be pretty light. So I'll just barely tone it. If I want to, I can kind of blend these together. Use a Q-tip. If I want to, I can pull the contour lines out, or I can make them darker and really emphasize them. Let's pull them out for this one. Or I'm going to, at least you can do you like. So I'm going to try to do it with just shading, no contour lines involved, okay? A good trick for that is to color in the back if you need to. That can make things pop. So there we go. Now I've got a pretty clear cylinder without any really strong contour lines.
if I want to make it like shiny, say it's a shiny cylinder, I can pull out a highlight with my pencil. Maybe a little shiny spot on the top too. Something like that. All right. So I can also kind of relay this in, continue to build up my tone, uh, continue to kind of smooth it out, make it as perfect as I want, right? The amount of time you spend is going to change the way your drawing looks. So I can really kind of build this up slowly and carefully, get some really immaculate, perfect looking artwork. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't know how interesting that is to watch, um, but you can do that with yours. So the next thing I'm going to draw is a tube. So a tube's kind of the same idea. I've got this end here that I'm going to make visible. Again, it's a foreshortened circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have it kind of move back here, kind of snake around this direction, something like that. If I want to, I can make it get or make it look like it gets um, kind of thinner as it moves back into the distance. So that's kind of one of the visual effects we see as things look smaller as they get further away from us. So if I want to play with that, I can do that. So I'm not really using any guidelines or rules to figure out how much it's going to shrink. So I want to kind of do it intuitively. So I might sketch in some searching lines, kind of correct them as I feel is necessary. All right, same sort of idea with the light. I'm going to have probably a highlight along the top of this, kind of follows this pattern. I know that I'm drawing in where the highlight goes right now, and that might seem counterintuitive. Um, for your drawing, you don't need to do that. I'm just kind of showing where it is. So now let's focus on the darkness over here. It's going to be darkest, like right along the bottom edge here, where the least amount of light is hitting it. Same thing over here. Nice and dark on this bottom edge here. And then down here. So I can work towards that highlight. I can go in and do kind of a medium tone up above my dark tone. Here, maybe do some cross contours here. I feel like it gets too thick here, it comes out too far, so I'm going to pull some of that off. Like that. So you can see, I've been using the side of my pencil, and it erases pretty nicely and pretty easily. That's kind of one of the advantages there. I'm going to smooth some of this out, build it together, add a little more tone. So I'm going to come in with my eraser and pull that high.
I want to, I can make my tube here hollow. And do that just for fun. All right. Do you have any questions? All right, let's see. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. All right, so for this one, if I want to, I can add, maybe I want my contour lines. So I can add those in and really emphasize them if I want. It's kind of one of the things I get to make some artistic choices on, right? All right, uh, so after you draw your cylinder, I feel like this should be thicker at the bottom, your cylinder and your tube, uh, you can do a free draw, kind of focusing on those. doesn't need to just be cylinders and tubes. I just want to see those kind of featured. Um, you can also add your uh, boxes and spheres um, and start to put shapes together and, and build things out of them. So here's my free draw I started. For first period, I might play around with this some more. Castle with towers, utilizing cylinders and boxes, some kind of crazy invention like this, utilizing a lot of tubes for the pipes, pinchers. Uh, I hope that helps and uh, enjoy your drawing. Bye bye.